How are you, Clay? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me on, Rich. You got it. Are you a Game of Thrones person like Aaron Rodgers as well or no? I'm I'm pretty confident I put Aaron Rodgers on the Game of Thrones. And, yeah, he might have a picture with Kit Harrington or whatever it is, but hmm. I've got posters of Khaleesi up in my room, so that makes me just as much of a fanboy. Well, i got to tell you, uh, are you saying that there's such a thing as a mother of dragons fathead, Clay Matthews? Are you really saying that to me right Custom now? Custom made. Custom made just for the one and only – I put it on the ceiling so I can just, uh, you know, look at it before I go to sleep. But I, I tell you what, I was just, I was disappointed when they, uh, mm-hmm. when they pushed back the release date. I get it. Yep. You know, it's winter wherever it is they're filming. So I'm, I'm really anticipating uh, this season coming up. Yeah, I am too. I'm going to try and get some spoilers out of Jon Snow, but I don't think uh, they're going to be any. They're going to be forthcoming. So, but I, and you know, you would, would you say you would be Dothraki? I mean, if you could be any, any character, if I gave you an opportunity to guest on Game of Thrones, what would you do? Who would you be? Now, uh, yeah, Dothraki would, would definitely, I just don't know if I would fit in. I, I think I would like to be more of a white walker, you know, just uh, really? really like, you know, you need some of that Valerian steel and a dragon glass to, to get after me a little bit. So I'd love to uh, be a white walker. So, you know, I know you're, you know, everybody listens to your show. You're, you're fantastic. I'm hoping there's a, mm. you know, a recruiting talent out there who's listening to this and oh. wants to make feature me as a as a white walker well i think they haven't shot season eight yet clay uh we make dreams come true here on this show you know you well i'm i'm gonna hold you to this now i'm go, i'm i'm all in now but brock right. you have a suggestion for him you gotta make yeah clay looks more like a wildling to me what do you think clay i i feel like i could do it all and i take uh you know i take a lot of pride in that so i i could be a wildling Mm-hmm. It'll be a uh, Dothraki You're versatile. or um, a White Walker. You're versatile. That's <laughs> that's for sure. Um, so how how are you different now than you were the first when you walked off the campus at uh, SC? How how are oh, things changed gosh. for you, Clay? I, you know, it's it's funny because I was just you know now that we're getting ready to head back to camp here in the next week or so, you know, you have these conversations with your family and you just can't believe I'm going into year nine and how it's just you know what seems like yesterday how you know getting getting drafted and you know, having zero idea of what, what my future had in store for me. But, you know, I just feel seasoned. I understand, um, you know, what's expected. Um, not only my role, you know, on this team, but, um, you know, kind of what I'm trying to accomplish as well. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited. I know I'm going into year nine. And, um, you know, a lot of people have had great careers and less time. But, you know, I still feel like I have a lot of ball left in me. And, um, you know, I think our team's on the precipice of always, you know, being, being that one team. Uh, you know, left at the end of the year. So I, I think, you know, big things are in store for, you know, not only uh, myself, but for the Packers as well. Do you think uh, staying inside helps you stay on the field in terms of uh, just injuries, just being inside is helpful for you, Clay? Well, you know, I think when they, I think just in general, you know, when they're able to mix, you know, mix me at inside and outside, I think it just brings a, um, you know, something that is different in that I'm not just a, you know, a guy they throw on the edge and rush a pass or a play inside. So, you know, as far as the health is concerned, um, you know, I took a shot last year, was playing with a separated shoulder, and, you know, getting it shot up week in and week out and just trying to battle through it. So, you know, hopefully that's an anomaly in, in that. But, you know, for the most part, I think that's what, you know, we're envisioning this year as well is, you know, having time on uh, both the left and right outside getting out to the quarterback playing inside, you know, covering backs out of the backfield. Like I said, I mean, much like my game of Thrones status, yes. you know, I think I'm a, a jack of all trades here. So, uh, you know, I, I see, I see them uh, using me much in the same light. And, um, you know, fortunately, I think it's really worked out um, not only for uh, my own career, but for the Packers as well. In house Lambo. Right, that's what that would be the house. How, yeah, of how, course. Well, you said King of the North. I thought you were introducing me at first. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes, that's you know, true. Maybe just Prince or something. No, like no, that, it's okay. But, uh, no, you're yeah. the, or the Lord Commander. You're. Uh, I'm up for whatever you're into there, Clay. Um, so <laughs> you got it. If I could let you change a rule in the NFL, what what would it be? Man, I you know obviously getting after quarterbacks. I mean, you, you, they just get so much protection nowadays. I mean, I understand not going low deliberately and, you know, hands away from the helmet, but it just feels like you can't, you know, get a good solid hit without taking a, uh, you know, taking a, a flag or a fine the following week. So sometimes that's a little petty. You know, I realize they quarterbacks, you know, they're like the home run hitters in baseball. Everybody wants to see them. They're, they're what drive the offense up and down the field. But, you know, that would be a nice change. But, but I am glad to see that they changed the uh, – 
celebration rules. You know, I think, uh, you know, you look at the fans watching the game. I know a lot of the old heads will be upset because, you know, they just want to see teamwork and, and guys celebrate with one another. But, I mean, you're also appealing to a younger younger demographic who wants to see, you know, what, uh, what these, uh, you know, playmakers, what these people who score touchdowns have in store for us. So if you score this year, would you have something in store on that front? You know, I'm, that, that's the problem because when I do score, which is few and far between, mm-hmm. I just like, I, I don't know what to do because I don't, I never plan on it because I don't plan on scoring. But when I do, I just freak out. And then after the fact, I just, you know, I kind of <laughs> just shake my head. Maybe I'll just punt the ball in the stands or throw it up there. That's, that's pretty boss, especially when you're, you know, at the opposition's field or something. That'd sure. be good. So have you done, have, when was the last time you did a Lambo leap, Clay Matthews? Uh, um, I think 2010 against the Dallas Cowboys at home, uh, I think A.J. Hawk tipped a pass, and I took it for maybe 50, 60 yards to the house and did a, a horrible rendition of a Lambo leap. I got halfway up, got stuck. <laughs> Teammates made fun of me. <laughs> I'd gladly do it again, though. I bet. I bet. Um, so I, I'm, I'm wondering, when I take a look at your career, 72 and a half career sacks, do you know the quarterback that you have sacked the most? I have this information in front of me, Clay. Do you know who that um, is? Is it Jay Cutler? It is that. So, yeah. are you going to miss Jay, Clay? Listen, I always enjoy playing against Jay. He, uh, you know, obviously he rubs some fans the wrong way. I know people get on him about his nonchalant attitude, but I, I always enjoy playing against him. So, I'm glad that I got a lot of sacks against him. I'll miss that the most, but um, hopefully, the next in line in Chicago will be as equally willing to. Uh, you know, help me pad my stats. Your ne- next up is uh, Christian Ponder, by the way. I'll read you this, the, the list. And you got Alex. You got him six times. You got Cutler eight and a half. Who got the other right. half, man? I would just thought you'd, just, you'd take all of Jay down, but I guess you uh, You know what? It's Eric Walden. who was with the Colts last year. He stole half. In fact, I even think, as petty as I am, I petitioned the league to get that fourth <laughs> sack. They didn't give it to me. What do you mean you petitioned the league? What are you talking well, about? Like, you know, when, when you get a sack or if something happens, you know you can send it into the league for review? Uh-huh. Well, really? with sacks, it's no different if you think you got half yeah. a sack, but it's just you got to come with the come to terms with that if you steal your teammates half a sack, you're probably not going to be boys for the rest of the year. So, you know, but I was willing to take that because it was a difference between a three-and-a-half sack game and a four-sack game, man. Okay. Unfortunately, it was just three-and-a-half. I've got Mike Daniels in studio tomorrow. What can you tell me about him? Oh, Clay? no. Oh, my gosh. Well, he's going to bring high energy. Um you know, just make sure you have some coffee on set for him because he's uh, okay. uh, he's high energy. I okay. really like him as a teammate. Um, he, you know, he, he's you'll know he's in the building before he even introduces himself. So it should be a good interview tomorrow. I can't wait. Clay Matthews, a few more minutes with him. He's here on behalf of wonderful pistachios, which we will discuss in a moment. Um, did you? I'm wondering what you think because Terrence Knighton uh, uh, was talking about the NBA contracts that are out there and why NFL players aren't paid like that. What do you think about the bonanza that went down in NBA free agency, Clay Matthews? Oh, it's unbelievable. I mean, watching uh, watching these guys get paid as much as they do, and not only you know as much as they do, but that it's fully guaranteed. All they have to do is not retire, and they make all that money. But you know, you, I feel like it's comparing apples and oranges. It's very much different. Um, obviously, we can sit here and say it's unfair, but. You know, what's unfair is that I'm not four inches, six inches taller, can dunk, shoot the three, and dribble, uh, you know, exceptionally well, or else I'd be in the NBA. So that's what's unfair is that, you know, <laughs> I have to play football and I can't play basketball. So that's that's the real travesty here. Okay. Um, so uh, you're doing a com- are you doing a commercial with Richard Sherman for Wonderful Pistachios or just you're doing separate videos? For them, we're doing yeah, we're doing separate spots, so we're not we're not in the same one, but they're uh, equally as funny. So yeah, we're on the we're on the set here with wonderful pistachios, filming a few uh, you know commercials for your entertainment during this uh, football season, and mm-hmm. you know we obviously want to spread the word that it's uh, a great snack for football fans, high in protein, low in calories, and uh, you know a part of my diet. So um, you know make sure you go and buy some wonderful pistachios and enjoy uh, enjoy our commercials as well. Yeah, because uh, everybody knows I make I make great great commercials. You do, man. I mean, you got some. Myself. You got ability, Clay. I mean, seriously, the, the the creators of Game of Thrones would be insane to not stick you in Westeros for season eight. They really would. They I really agree. would. Now, uh, anytime I bring this up with you, you always say I was horrible to you when you were an intern at the NFL Network. Is that really true? When you no, when you had an you know internship what? at it the NFL Network. It's a good story, but I want the truth to be, uh, you know, to be had, and that is that 
you weren't horrible to me. You just never had time for me. So oh, in a way, a <laughs> you know, like you would, your door would be locked and you'd pick up the phone right when I'd be knocking on the door <laughs> you know, as if you were on a call. So you were never mean to me. It's just that I could never find out if you were a nice guy or if you were mean to me. So, but I tell you what, when I, when I interned at NFL Network, you know, my job, while wasn't the most uh, gratifying. I'll tell you what, I stalked your mini fridge like no man has before. <laughs> I mean, I was a master at Tetris, and I, I did every, you know, alcohol you requested, every candy bar, you know, everything yeah. you had requested that was illegal on site, I would sneak it in for you. Okay, and and then that's where your 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 affinity for pistachios probably came from because I was always you looking. Had, you had a giant gallon size. Oh, bucket. yeah wonderful pistachios and that. that's where it started much like you know my enthusiasm for the nfl when i worked at the network is is your pistachio collection as well okay so i owe all my success to you well let me tell you something <laughs> i am i am going to um you know apologize because um when you came to the door and i got on the phone there was nobody on the phone clay really um, yeah i mean that was just that's just a tried and true veteran move on on my part um, I'm going to make it up to you, though. We are going to get you on Game of Thrones. I am dead freaking serious about it. I want to make this happen. Want, I want nothing more, well, not only to own a Ferrari, but to also be on Game <laughs> of Thrones. I think that, well, that in itself would be amazing. I got to tell you, though, you, Elizabeth Banks, who I'm sure you know through yeah. Pitch Perfect 2, she's uh -huh. probably got some ins, too. So let's let's work together to make this happen. Okay, you, yeah. it's not like you're. It's not like you are empty of Hollywood connections, Clay Matthews. No. Okay, no, my my phone is just full of a listers and directors, Spielberg, the Bruckheimer. So yeah, we can we can make this happen. <laughs> and then you know what? Because you're so you know you're so willing to help. Yes, I think maybe they should have me as like a wildling, and then you know you're kind of on all fours behind me, and I have like a leash around your neck. <laughs> you're a real wild wildling, you know. So that way we can get you in there as well. I don't think I've got the hair for the part, Clay, but maybe they can put me in makeup for a few hours, and we can make that work. We'll just yeah, we'll just put some cataract uh, contacts over you. You look like the old man wildling who's just full of insight and wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Clay, you're the best. Thanks for calling yeah, in. We'll chat it, soon. Rich. Thank you very much. You Take got, care. You got it. That's Clay Matt. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.